Know thyself. Self-realization is the greatest service you could give to the world. The year is 2018. In this period of time, a rapidly rising collective consciousness is settling in our society. No matter what country you are in, or whatever city you are from in the world, people are starting to wake up to the real problems that the world faces today, correcting the mistakes of the past, present, and future. This is a major task in itself. With so much division in the world, it is very hard to distinguish truth from deception. According to some estimates, there are roughly 4,200 religions in the world. That means around 4,200 religious groups organized by humans that are just like you and me think they know something about our past and way of life that we don't. Now I don't know about you, but this fact in itself tells me something very important that we should all know. The way I see it, that means around 4,199 religious groups are possibly incorrect or maybe there are scattered pieces of information in certain key religions that those with eyes to see and ears to hear will put together themselves. I personally believe in a creator. It is impossible for life itself, planets, stars, and the universe to be created from a Big Bang Theory. And that's all it is, a theory. A very traditional way of looking at it is that there is a god or gods that created us, and this world is a school of hard knocks, a phrase meaning sometimes painful. Education one gets from life, usually negative experiences, often turns out to be a very important life experience. A more modern way of looking at it would be that we live in some kind of matrix, or trapped in some type of game of life, with a puppet master pulling the strings from behind the curtain, or a veil. I am learning to understand, rather than immediately judge or be judged. I cannot blindly follow the crowd and accept their approach. I will not allow myself to indulge in the usual manipulating game of role creation. Fortunately for me, my self-knowledge has transcended that, and I have come to understand that life is best to be lived and not to be conceptualized. I am happy because I am growing daily, and I am honestly not knowing where the limit lies. To be certain, every day there could be a revelation, or a new discovery. I treasure the memory of the past misfortunes. It has added more to my bank of fortitude. Bruce Lee A perfect quote suiting the way I feel, from one of my favorite people who ever lived. I believe that most people really don't know the truth, and to find that truth, you have to look within yourself. And there you shall find the answer to your true purpose in life. In fact, the more I study and learn about ancient cultures and religions, the more I realize that it would literally take me lifetimes to learn about everything I need to know. And not everyone in the world is privileged to have this information available to them. So what about the people in extreme poverty or third world countries that are starving with no money or food to eat? How are they supposed to learn the truth about what religion is correct in their teachings? Is it possible that life is but a dream, and all the others are just playing their part in my own private experience? I honestly don't know. What I do believe is that I learn something new every day, and the most valuable experiences are those I learn in my everyday life, my interactions with people, animals, and all of nature around me. My ability to set an example to those around me who look and seem clueless to the real reality of life. The ones who still sleep and are ignorant to other people's feelings and consequences. Or the know-it-alls that preach something that they really don't know much about at all. I learned to treat others the way that I would like to be treated and really put yourself in their shoes to see how you would feel if someone did that to you. The truth is, the more I really pay attention to my actions, the more I see room for improvement. I don't think it's fair to put the blame on others who don't know right from wrong. Maybe they themselves or their parents didn't know any better 
from the ways and times that they were brought up. Releasing negative energy from the past and forgiveness is crucial to moving forward in our society. I believe that all of us united, regardless of your skin color or religion, is the key to our civilization moving forward into the future and in the now moment. Love holds the power to all happiness and has the ability to unite everyone together so that our planet and we as the human race will thrive and survive into our future. The first thing you have to know is yourself. A man who knows himself can step outside himself and watch his own reactions like an observer. I think to really know yourself means to take control of who you are and what you want out of life. That means if you don't feel good about yourself, then do something about it. If you feel like you want a better life, then you have to adjust and create the life that you desire. No one will do it for you. It is there waiting for you when you wake up to your true inner calling and strength. I learned from the late great Louise Hay that the universe is abundant and so is this planet. You have to ask for what it is you really want and focus on that until it is manifested into your own reality. Write it down every day. Put a picture of whatever it is you want on the wall. Take a few minutes out of your day to close your eyes and visualize whatever it is you want out of life. It is not going to happen overnight, but like planting a seed in soil, you could watch it grow. The universe is not pushing you. It is not blessing you. It is not controlling you. The universe responds to the vibration you are creating. Think happy and happiness will come to you. Think negatively and negativity will come to you. What we put into the universe, we will get back like an echo. Take control of who you are. Live with no regrets. Forgive yourself and others and move on. Life is too short. Enjoy, be free, and live in the now moment. Be the change that the world needs. When one has reached maturity in the art, one will have a formless form. It is like ice dissolving in water. When one has no form, one can be all forms. When one has no style, he could fit with any style. Bruce Lee